we have been getting a lot of requests for body weight strength class. So that's what we have today for you. Everything is gonna be focused on total body conditioning with just your body weight. So all you're gonna need is your mat today. Meet me in a standing position. I'm gonna have you make a diamond with your hands. Thumbs and pointer fingers are gonna to come together. Let's gently lie those thumbs into your belly button and your pointer fingers are gonna fall right at your pubic bone. Just relax the shoulders, soften the elbows. We're gonna work on isolated abdominal breathing. So I want you to think about breathing into that diamond as you inhale. You're gonna feel your belly expand outwardly and then as you exhale, feel those tummy muscles draw back in and then think about lifting your navel up to your nose. Let's try that a couple more times. Inhale right through the center of the diamond. And then as you're exhaling, concentrating on lifting from the bottom of the diamond, the center of the diamond to the top of the diamond. It should almost feel as if your navel is lifting up like there's a fish hook in it. Inhale, releasing, and then exhale lifting and feeling that lift and scoop from your core. Inhale and exhale. Now I'm just gonna take my hands off to the sides here so you can see more of that movement from the belly, what we're looking for with that breathing. Inhale and exhale through your mouth like you're pushing air out of a straw. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one together, and exhale. Now let's take a breath in and raise the arms up overhead. Again, continuing with that same abdominal breathing. And then as you exhale, bring the hands down towards your sides and lift those tummy muscles in and up. Inhale, fill up through the bottom of the belly, right where that diamond was, and then exhale, lift from the bottom part of the diamond, the middle of the diamond, and the top of the diamond as those arms go down at your sides. Two more. Now let's add a side bend to it. Inhale, fill up, grab hold of your left wrist, and then as you exhale, lift those tummy muscles and grab that left wrist as you side reach to your right. Inhale, let's change out the grip, grab the, the right wrist, and exhale over to the left. Inhale, stretch tall at center. Now this time, lift those lower tummy muscles up and bend forward as if you're reaching for something on the other side of a fence. Notice there's a little more weight in your toes and your tummy muscles continue to stay lifted. Inhale, come into a flat back halfway. Lift and lengthen your spine. Bring your hands to your shins. Look out. And then exhale, go ahead and fold into yourself again, feeling those tummy muscles draw up. Inhale, sweep the arms behind you and come all the way up into that standing position. Now this time, exhale, open arm twist. Bring your right arm forward and your left arm back as you rotate. Now press your left hip forward as you take that twist so those hips aren't going with you. So you really wanna feel this rotation in the obliques and the trunk. Inhale, back up through center. Press the right hip forward as you open the arms to twist right. Feel that rotation again. Exhale all the breath out. Inhale, back up to center. And then again, lift the tummy as you take your forward bend, melting down. Inhale to your flat back, lengthen the spine halfway. And then exhale, melt in again. Lift the navel up and inhale, sweeping the arms all the way back up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, let's add a little back bend to it this time. Pull those tummy muscles back, goal post your arms, lift your chin, lift your chest. Make sure that we're not dumping or slouching here. So I really want you to keep those core muscles in as you take a couple breaths here, feeling the length and the openness across the front line of the body. And your next inhale, big reach back up towards the ceiling and then exhale again. Let's take that lift of the belly, diving your body forward. Inhale, halfway to flat back, lengthen out through the crown of the head. 
and then exhale, pull the tummy in and melt forward again. Inhale, the arms are gonna go all the way back up. And then exhale, hands are gonna come to your sides. A nice little flowing warm up there. Let's step back to the back edge of your mat here. Okay. Inhale, the arms are gonna come up. Exhale, let's lift the belly button as you're diving into a pool, making the smallest splash as you come forward. Keep folding your belly button in half. Now go ahead and take your hands down onto the mat here. We are gonna walk out into a high plank here. Holding your high plank nice and strong. Go ahead and tap your knees down onto the mat and then find yourself in a tabletop position. Reposition your hands underneath your shoulders if they were too far forward and your knees underneath your hips. Now let's practice that abdominal breathing again here. Inhale, let the belly muscles relax. Kind of feel like you're spilling out your guts and your belly's hanging a little low like a hammock. Now exhale. Zip those tummy muscles up and in, feeling like you're pulling your wrists and your knees together to draw more energy into the center of your body. Inhale, release it down. And then exhale to zip it up. Inhale, release it out. Three more, exhale. Keeping your back nice and flat so we're avoiding rounding or arching the spine. Really feeling that core work as you release on the breath in and zip up on the breath out. Last one, this is called transverse abdominal breathing. So your transverse abdominal is your deep abdominal layer that we're trying to activate here with just breathing. Now from here, curl your toes under, lift your hips and press back into a downward facing dog. Press your heels, take a moment, maybe bend one knee and stretch one heel a little heavier so you feel that stretch in the calf and hamstring. Go ahead and change and change and change one more time each side to change and last one change now press both heels down heavy inhale lift your gaze look forward and pull forward into that high plank tap your knees down lightly keep the core connected exhale meet back in your high plank and down dog inhale pull forward high plank pause tap the knees down Exhale, lift back to high plank and back to downward facing dog. So it's one breath, count in and out, and it's four separate movements. Inhale, pulls you forward to plank, pause, tap the knees down, you're still inhaling. Now exhale, lift, and back to downward facing dog. Let's do a few more of those. Inhale, plank, knees tap down, exhale, up, downward dog. Inhale forward, tap the knees, exhale lift, press downward dog. Two more, inhale, tap, exhale, lift, downward dog. One more, forward, tap, exhale lift, high plank, downward dog. Bring this one forward on the inhale. Find that high plank long and strong. Bring your knees down. And from here, we're gonna walk the hands forward slightly. So now the hands are forward from the shoulders and walk the knees back slightly. So you feel like you're in a working position here now in tabletop, so it's not so much of a rest. Now I want you to draw your hips forward like you're in a modified plank position and then draw those hips back. Can we draw forward? I don't want you to arch your back here, so it's not dropping and dumping into the lower back. I want you to neutral pelvis, pull those tummy muscles in and kind of tuck your booty underneath you. So we should feel the core muscles working here. Inhale, back, and then exhale, curl the booty under as you pull forward. So you're in a straight line from knees, hips to shoulders. Back and exhale as you're coming forward. A lot of shoulder stability here. We're gonna need that for the next series that's coming next, two, and one more. 
As you exhale, come forward and hold. Take a breath in, long and strong. Now go ahead and exhale, lower all the way down to your elbows, bringing those elbows towards your sides versus out. Pin them back towards your ribs and hips. Now inhale, you're gonna come up for your baby cobra. Lift with your back muscles as high as you can, and when you feel stuck, then press into your palms and come up. And then let's take a reset back into a full child's pose. Keep those arms fully extended out so they're long and reaching. Where they are is where they're going to stay as we rise forward. We tuck the booty slightly, we pull the shoulders forward, and we land right back in that modified plank position to draw those elbows right alongside of our body. Inhale, lift into your baby cobra, feeling the upper back muscles working. Now gently press into your hands to come up the rest of the way and back to your child's pose. Extend those arms long. One more round through that. Inhale, rise forward, press the hips forward, squeeze the bottom, lower down with those elbows, drawing right up against the side of your body. Inhale, lift to your baby cobra using your back muscles and then press into your hands and come on up and back into that extended child's pose. Inhale, pull forward. Now you're gonna find a full tabletop position here. So again, you're back with the wrists underneath the shoulders and the knees hip width distance apart here. Go ahead and begin to bring your left knee in towards your right knee. So that way your hands and your left knee are making a triangle so we can extend the right leg straight back. When we extend the right leg straight back, what we don't wanna happen is the body weight to shift side to side. So you wanna keep that triangle right in the center of your mat. Now squeeze your right glute and exhale. Give me a single leg lift here for eight. Exhale, seven. Now make sure your tummy is nice and tight. We're lifting to level so we're not dropping to get more range of motion, okay? Exhale, lift and squeeze. Keep everything steady and stable and just moving that right leg up and down from your hamstring and glute, keeping the hips square. Last two and one. We're gonna hold it at the top for a little pulse. Check back in with the belly. Take your hand to those lower abs and make sure they're nice and firm to check them. And now pulse from the crease of the seat. Up 10, up nine, up eight, up seven, up six, up five, up four, three, two, one. Now the leg can stay lifted here or you can set the right toes down as we come into a set of five push-ups here. Again, I want your elbows in. So if you look down, the crease of your elbows should be pointing forward, not elbows out, okay? So these are more tricep inspired push-ups. You're gonna come down, bringing your shoulders in line with your thumbs and fingertips and press back up. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Now if you have the leg lifted, that's a progression. Down, exhale up for three. Inhale, tummy in tight, exhale up for two. Inhale, bring it down, exhale, press it up, last one. From here, we are gonna spin over to your right. So I want you to take your left elbow down and line up your forearm parallel with the front edge of your mat. You're gonna kick stand your left foot off to the side so we can open up. I realize I'm facing away from you, so I'm actually going to just do a little flip around here. So I'm still on the same side as you. Opening the right arm up, hold long and strong. Now you're gonna take that top toe down and exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Think about squeezing the abductor. That's your upper outer glute or your gluteus medius. Squeeze on that lift. Stabilize with your bottom shoulder. Make sure that you're not dropping or slouching. Lift and lengthen up to the sky. Here's four. Exhale up for three. Exhale up for two. Exhale up for one. Now you can hold or you can set the toes down. You've got options here. We're gonna take it into a cross under rotation with that top arm drawing in. Now open back up. Exhale, rotate under. Inhale, open. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, open. Now when we're rotating, you're pushing that bottom elbow into the mat so you're not slouching here. Last one, bring it up here and reach the top arm overhead. Now we're going five elbow to knee squeezes. 
Try to lift the knee up towards the ceiling and the elbow over and in line with the side of your body versus in front. So opening up as much as you can. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, bring it together. Last two. Exhale. One more time and exhale. Inhale, nice and long there. Big stretch. Go ahead and return it back to all fours here in your tabletop position. Your knees are together and we are gonna change sides. Extending your left leg long now. Position your palms right underneath your shoulders. Tummy in strong. And that right knee, remember, is making that triangle. Exhale as you lift your left leg. Stabilize the shoulders. Keep the tummy in tight. Level the hips. It's almost like you could balance a glass of wine on your sacrum. We're here for five. Exhaling up for four. Exhale, lift three. We're going to add that hold and pulse in two. Here we go. Last one to the top. Pulse it up. 10, up, 9, up, 8, up, 7, up, 6, up, 5, up, 4, up, 3, up, 2, up, 1. Go ahead and set the foot down or keeping it hovered for our tricep push-ups here. Elbows are going to bend in towards your hips and press up on the exhale. Inhale to lower, exhale, push away. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful job. Set the foot down. Now you're gonna bring your right elbow down to the mat. Again, I'm gonna just lift direction so I'm facing you. Elbow comes down on the right side. You're gonna line up the right knee and the right elbow as you kick stand the foot for a balance and open to your left. So you're gonna take your top leg up and tap the big toe down. Exhale as you're lifting. Inhale as you're lowering. Exhale as you lift. Inhale to lower. We are here for six. Exhale, five. And four. Three. Almost there. Exhale, two. Beautiful. Last one. Now you can stay up for more of a challenge or feel free to set the toe down as we cross under and rotate. Inhale to open. Exhale, cross under and rotate. Keep pushing down with that bottom elbow. We're here for three. Little bit of obliques here. Two, really feeling that upper body stabilize and probably start to shake. Last one. Top arm is up and now reach it overhead. Open long through the side of your body. Check in with that bottom shoulder. We're almost there. Exhale, squeeze in, open. Try to lift more up to the sky versus in front here. Inhale and exhale, squeeze for three. Drive that bottom elbow down for two. Stabilize through your shoulder and squeeze those obliques. Last one. Inhale, open it back up and then press yourself back to center into your tabletop position here. We are gonna do one more set of push-ups. So I want you to bring those hands forward again. So they're forward out in front of your shoulders. Now coming back into that slight tail curl, you're gonna roll your hips forward, nice and long here. Feel like you're trying to pull your wrists to your knees and then pull your pubic bone up to your nose. Now if you keep your toes on the ground, that's a little bit of a modification. More of a challenge is gonna be pulling your heels up towards your seat. So find what works for you. You might start here or you, and you might end here and that's just fine. We're going four, five here. Down on the inhale, elbows come back towards your ribs. Feel like you are rubbing up against the sides of your body. Exhale, keep your core and your glutes tight. Here's three, two, Last one. Send those hips back into extended child's pose for a release down. Whoo! Definitely building some heat in the body, feeling our arms, our shoulders, our core, little bit of glutes in that last sequence. So total body strength here. Rise up through that tabletop position and meet me back in a downward facing dog. Now from here, I'm gonna have you look forward to your hands. You're gonna walk your feet up 
in between your hands, about hip width distance apart. Your feet are in a parallel position. I want you to drop down really low here. Call this crouch and curl. So this is a nice stretch into the hips, into the lower back, some really good knee and ankle mobility as well. Now we're gonna get into the hamstrings as we ground the feet down, straighten the legs as much as we can. Come down into that crouch and curl, get as low as you can and then extend, lifting the hips and straightening the legs as much as you can. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna get low here, and we're gonna straighten out the legs, really feeling that length in the hamstrings. Now from here, I want you to drop your butt halfway down. Make sure your heels can stay grounded into your mat, and then put a little bit more weight back in your heels. Now that's gonna allow us to stay low as we lift our chest and our arms up here now. Arms can come overhead or arms can be straight out in front of your chest, okay? So arms up is gonna be a little bit more challenging on your shoulders. Arms in front is gonna allow you to stay up a little bit more if you have uh, shoulder mobility issues coming overhead if that causes any pain or discomfort. Now from here, hands are gonna come down at your sides as you stand tall. Now let's check back in with those core muscles in this squat sequence here. Now inhale, you're gonna get low. Arms in front of chest or arms raise up. Sit back into an imaginary chair and then exhale. <sighs> Lift those belly muscles in and up. Inhale nice and low, keep the weight in the heels and exhale as we stand. Focus on engaging your quads, engaging your glutes, and most importantly, engaging your core. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Here for five. Really working on our alignment here, tracking knees over toes, hips behind the heels, and shoulders and chest are staying up. Last three. Two, lift the navel to the nose, and last one. Now meet me down in that squat position here. Stay low, but just go ahead and reach your fingertips now to the floor. Your legs shouldn't move there. You're gonna shift your weight into your left leg and lift your right heel up for me. All of the weight is stabilizing in your left side. Now step your right toes back and forward out and in. Your fingertips are just on the mat for a little balance here. Keep moving that right leg out and in, grounding down through your left heel. We're here for five, four, three, two, you got it. Last one, tap the right toes in, and right behind the left heel, keeping the weight in the left leg. Pulse is low, here's 10, nine, eight. Keep kickstanding the right toes, more of a challenge to hover the leg for four, three, two, and one. Hold it low for 10, nine. Fingertips can stay down or bring them up for more of a challenge. Six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, set your right foot down. Woo. Straighten your legs out there. Just take a moment to sway your hips side to side. That left leg should have been burning and starting to shake with all of that stability. Woo. All right, we got a second side. Bend your knees, get down nice and low through your butt. Lift your chest slightly so we're not just slumping and resting on our thighs here. Shift your weight into your right side. So I like to kickstand the left heel up to prepare for that transition of weight. Now belly draws in and up, and then tap that left leg out and in, out and in. Weight is in your right heel. We are here for six and five. Nice and steady, keep breathing. Four, relax tension in the neck and shoulders. Three, two, last one out. Bring it into kickstand. We've got those pulses in kickstand. Or remember, you can hover your leg for more of a challenge. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We hold it low, belly pulls in. 
foot can stay lifted or kickstand and also got that option with the arms to come to a balance or maybe one arm lifts, holding for 10, nine, eight, stabilize seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set the hands and feet down. Oh my goodness, straighten the legs out there. Woo! Give it a little shake and shimmy. Beautiful, get nice and low through your hips. And from here, you're gonna come back into that crouch and curl position and you're gonna walk your hands behind you to sit down on your bottom. Oh my gosh, that felt amazing. After all that leg work, your knees are gonna be about hip width distance apart. Your feet are gonna slide out in front of you. Again, let's revisit that diamond shape here. Thumbs come into your belly, button pointer fingers fall below. And we wanna sit up nice and tall so you're on your sits bones versus slumping into your back pockets. If your hamstrings or hip flexors are burning, a couple of things you can do is roll up your mat to just give your hips a little bit of a lift here. And that should take some pressure or stretch your legs out a little straighter. So you've got some options because we don't want to be holding an intense amount of pressure in the hip flexors. So again, just coming back to that ISO ab breath. Here's a inhale. And then as you exhale, Scoop those lower tummy muscles in. So you should literally feel them drawing back, but also up. So you're sitting a little taller. Breath in and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last two and exhale. One more and exhale. Now inhale, your arms come forward. Now as you exhale, feel those lower belly muscles scoop and you're actually gonna draw back now. So your spine is making a capital letter C from your shoulders to your spine to your pelvis here. So we're not slumping and rounding here from the shoulders and chest. You wanna feel it, feel it come from here into the lower abdominals and then feel like you're drawing your rib cage in half. Now leg lift to it, breath in. As you exhale, bring the right knee into tabletop. Inhale, be intentional about lifting the leg up. Change left from your center. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. We are here for four and three and two. Last one left. Now rest both feet down. Your hands are gonna come down and elbows are gonna draw back and you're gonna use your core to slowly bring you back. Now bring your feet in and plant them down. We're gonna go into a tricep push up here. So draw those elbows as far back as you can. You might need to wiggle them a little bit further back behind you so you can press your palms firmly into the mat. Notice how your elbows are pointing straight back. Now as you exhale, push up through the heel of your hand. You're gonna keep a slight bend in your elbows and make sure they're not going off to the sides here. Pin them back and squeeze in an orange between your shoulder blades. Inhale, lower back. Now try not to collapse, just a light tap from forearm to elbow and then exhale, rolling back up. Inhale, really good chest opening here as well and exhale. Here for two more, exhale. Last one and exhale. And I want you to meet me back down on your forearms here. We're gonna do a little more core work. Now, neutral pelvis. So you almost kind of feel your weights pulling you forward and your core is not engaged right now. We're gonna work on tucking. As you exhale, peel your pubic bone in and up and you're gonna feel your lower tummy muscles activate. Inhale, release to neutral. And then exhale, tuck the pelvis. Now, as we transitioned our focus to our core again, just make sure that we're not doing this through those shoulders. So push down through those elbows, keep the chest and neck nice and long. Inhale to neutral and exhale to tuck. Inhale to neutral and exhale to tuck. Now, if you're starting to feel your neck tensing, lift your chin up a little bit and exhale for three. Inhale to neutral, exhale, tuck in two. Inhale to neutral, exhale, tuck and hold for one. Bring your heels into your seat a little closer and anchor down with your big toes. Now hold that tuck and the energy in your core. So making sure that we're not going back to neutral. We wanna hold that curl and energy into the abdominals. You're gonna bring your right knee up and down. Very similar to what we were doing earlier 
but now we have changed body positions to reclined and we should feel this more from the lower abs, stabilizing the pelvis again so we are avoiding rocking from left and right. We're here for four and three. Exhale as you come up, two, exhale on the lift. Last one, exhale on the lift. Now hold that right side in. We're gonna go into a bicycle, extend up, and stretch the leg long, keep those abs connected, and drag the heel to the seat. Extend up and drag in. Now as the leg starts to move away from the body, the tummy muscles are going to be challenged because you're pulling away from your center point of energy. We've got one more on the right side here, and drag down and then kickstand that big toe, keeping the heel lifted. Tummy pulls back, left knee comes up to tabletop, extend and stretch down on the exhale. Two. Last one. And kickstand the left side in. Now we're gonna bring the right leg in, the left leg in, and bring the legs together. Pull those tummy muscles back and away from the thighs. We're almost here. Extend both legs up on the exhale. Lift as high as you can and bend back in. Exhale, extend. As you extend, pull those abs in and bend. Extend and bend. Last two and one more. We're gonna hold the legs up. Now bicycle at the top here. Start with the left, down on the exhale. Drag in, just three each leg. Nothing else moves but that left leg. Last one, and lift. Right leg, down, and lift. Exhale, drag in, and lift. We're almost there. Last one, and lift. Both legs up and together. Now both legs down, bend the knees, and drag in like a dolphin kick. Down. The lower you go, the harder your abs have to work. Last three, exhale. Don't let those legs pull you out of your tuck. Keep that pelvic tilt for two. Oh my goodness, lower belly muscles are firing up. Last one, both legs are gonna go down here and gently press yourself on up and give me a nice forward counter stretch here. Releasing the neck by rocking the head from side to side. If you are really holding tension in your neck in that sequence, it's just a sign that your neck extensors are starting to take over some of the work versus your core. And that's okay, as you get stronger, those neck muscles will work a little bit less. Now go ahead and roll on up to a stacked spine position. Make sure your feet are right at the front edge of the mat, so you might need to do a little boost forward. And then from here, you're gonna just gently melt your way all the way down onto your back. As we move into our bridge sequence, bend your knees, hip width distance apart. From here, we're gonna work on isolating our hamstrings and glutes. I want you to hold a neutral pelvis and a neutral spine here, and you're gonna drive your heels down, but also feel like you're pulling them towards your butt. So we're not pushing out, we're pulling in, and that's gonna get our hamstrings to activate a little bit more. Now, unlike yoga, we're not going for a stretch here and lifting as high as we can. We wanna keep the rib cage in, and really feel the lift come from the crease of the seat. So I do like to take my hands on my tush and just kind of give me a little bit more lift. I really felt the front of my hips open and actually felt a little bit of stretching in my quads as I did that. Now go ahead and tap down. So the tail, the lower, mid and upper back should all come down at the same time. Now exhale to the top and really get those glutes to fire up. Inhale, tapping down, exhale, squeezing up. Inhale to lower and exhale to lift. We're here for five more. Now start to think about what your arms are doing because as we progress in four, your arms are gonna have to push the mat away and really stabilize you. So you wanna feel your triceps and your upper back muscles also assisting you to get those hips up as high as you can into full hip extension. Now hold this next exhale at the top. Shift your weight into your right foot, so kickstand your left toes. Feel that balance, ground down, try not to sway to the right. Stay as centered as you can, and we're gonna bring the left knee in and up, and tap it down. Try not to drop those hips here for five, 
Exhale, lift for four, drive that right heel through the mat and three. And last two, a static hold. Oh my gosh, it's burning. Last one, set the right left side down, ground through the left heel. Keep those hips lifted if they dropped a little bit. Now kick stand the right heel up, round through the left, keep pulling the left heel in, and we march that right knee for five. Exhale, four, press those palms firmly to the mat. Exhale, three. Exhale, two, keep your chest open. Exhale, last one. Inhale, ground down. Notice if your hips drop, mine definitely did. So boost them back up on an exhale. And then inhale, go ahead and lower down. Hug your knees into your chest. Give it a little rock from side to side. Woo. Beautiful job. Rock and roll up and down the length of your mat here, massaging back and forth three to five times. And eventually you are going to make your way back up to your seat. Go ahead and cross your legs like crisscross applesauce, like a pretzel here. We are just gonna finish with some seated scapular retractions here to get our upper back muscles firing, our chest open, because our upper back is almost the only thing we haven't really worked hard in this bodyweight strength class today. So inhale, those arms are gonna come up, biceps in line with your ears here. I'm just gonna come at an angle so you can see what we're gonna be working. So with those arms straight up, we don't want the shoulders to rise up and shrug to the ears. So we wanna keep those shoulders down and back. Now, as you bend your elbows, I want you to feel like you're making a W here. We wanna avoid the hands coming forward. If anything, think about drawing the back of the hand to the wall behind you and trying to wing your elbows forward. That's gonna help open up the front of the body and force those back muscles to engage as you come down, really squeeze underneath your armpits and into your lat muscles. Inhale, raising up, and then exhale, retracting down. Now, if you can think about it, try to draw your belly button up on that exhale. Inhale to raise and exhale to retract and squeeze. Slightly pressing those hands behind the shoulders. We've got six, exhale. And five, exhale. Four, exhale down. Three, exhale down. Last two, we're gonna hold it down here and now we're gonna add back pulses. So I want you to think about this coming from your upper back muscles and try not to let the elbows point backwards. Pull those elbows forward and press back through your shoulder blades for 10. Try not to arch the back, hold the tummy muscles in for nine. Eight, squeeze an orange between your shoulder blades, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing your arms to your sides here. Let's just gently bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Feeling a little bit more length in the neck. Center tall, left ear, left shoulder. Center tall, take a big reach up with the arms. Fill up through that diamond. And then as you exhale, draw the hands to your side and one last breath to seal out that lower abdominal connection. Woo! Great work. Thank you for joining me for Body Weight Strength, Matt Pilates. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'll see you in the next class.